Hey all you cool cats and kittens, I'm Daniel from Daniel's Balls, and today we're going to feed some snakes. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be feeding my snakes, Snowball, and of course Socks right here. Uh, so let me go get some mice. Alright, so when I'm feeding my snakes, I like to keep it simple, you know, white styrofoam cup, warm water, not too hot, because if it's too hot, it can damage the mouse inside, really gross, you don't want to see that, um, but not too not hot, because if it's too not hot, um, then it, it will take a, a lot longer for the mouse to thaw out, and you'll end up with a cold mouse at the end, so I like to get it done quick, I like to have it a little bit warmer, but I don't want it too hot because it can get gross. Um, and you want it to be able to thaw out the mouse um, if you're doing frozen thawed. Um, and you want to make you want to be able to thaw out the mouse and then be able to have it warmed all the way through so that you can feed it to your snake. So I'll just use warm water. Uh, you saw I got it from a hot water pot. Um, and then at the end I added. Um, some fridge water, some cold fridge water. You can use tap water. Um, it just it just levels out the heat, so it's not boiling hot um, when you put the mouse in. So right here, I've got two bags. Um, I'm not sure what's in what, so I'm gonna just gonna check right now. But what I do know is that Snowball eats right here four frozen um four frozen medium mice these are mice to go brand i get these at my local pet store um and it's going out of business so they're super cheap um i got a bunch recently um and that's good when you're stocking up right now um go out and get a bunch of mice because you never know when you're not going to be able to get any um to feed your snakes so snowball is eating f um medium frozen mice and socks, that's more frozen mice. Socks is eating small mice. These are six frozen small mice. Socks is eating small mice. So um, it's really good to keep track of what size um, is right for um, your snake at, at the right time. Um, and these are, these are good sizes for them. So what I'll just do is I'll just take this out of the box. It comes in a little bag. You just rip the bag off, drop it in the water. It's easy as that. Um, and then you just have to wait. You can touch it um, just to make sure it is um, thawed all the way through and warm to the touch so that the snake can eat it. Um, and you, you, you want it to be warm. Um, here's uh, the medium mouse. You want it to be warm so that um, the snake, because the snakes can sense heat, um, especially Snowball. She has the heat pits on her on the front of her mouth, and so what she can se she can sense the heat of her prey. So if the mouse is not hot, then she won't be able to sense that it's there very well. She can see, but it's easier for her to sense with the smell and um, the heat, obviously. Um, so I'm just gonna let these thaw out in the water and I'll get back to you guys when they're ready. All right, so as you can see, I've got the mice all thawed out, ready to go, and somebody's hungry. Okay, so he is in his warm hide. Now I just gotta get him to smell this. There he goes. Let me see if I can bring him out a little bit. There you go. Come on, socks. Come on. Boom. Strike. And can you get a coil? No, 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 no. Don't go back in your house. Oh, well. There you go. That sucks. Time for Snowball. Alright, so now it's time to feed Snowball. And as you can see, she is ready for food. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to get the mouse right now. Alright, I've got the mouse. And, um... Watch this. Boom. 
Boom. Boom. There you go. She took that beautifully. Not directly on the head, but she'll find it. Um, and I think I'll set up a time lapse for her. Just so you guys can watch her eat. Because um, she usually does it out in the open and socks. Usually pulls his food back down into his cave. Um, but there you go. Alright, so this is actually pretty cool. Uh, Socks came out of his um, his little hut after he was done eating and he came over to drink some water. Um, and that's pretty common behavior. I just don't see it from him very often because, I mean, he's already now going to hide again because he doesn't really like to see me. But um, uh, that's, that's normal to expect. Um, your snake probably would drink some water after they're done eating. Um, I didn't get it on camera one because he was already running away until I was finishing the time lapse for Snowball. And you could see in that time lapse, um, Snowball was using gravity to her advantage when she was, um, finishing the mouse. She was kind of, she kind of stood up and let it fall down her throat. All right. So, um, as you can see, we just fed both the snakes and, um, I feed at night. Right now it's around midnight, um, probably later than um, I should be doing this. But, um, you know, you get carried away with TV and whatever. So um, I feed at night because most snakes, um, including Snowball and Sox, um, which are ball pythons and corn snakes, um, they will hunt at night um, and... Uh, so I just like to keep that um, natural aspect of it. Um, so, hey socks, buddy. Um, so I just I just like to feed at night. And um, if you're having trouble with a ball python that isn't eating, um, and you're feeding during the day, if you try feeding at night, that should help um, get it to eat. All right. So if you like today's video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I hope you all of you guys are doing well, staying at home, um, social distancing. Um, it's going to get better, I promise. Um, but for now, this is a really great time to spend some time with your reptiles um, or other animals. Um, give them some love, uh, spend time feeding them, playing, playing with them. Um, and uh, I, I wish everybody a, a happy Easter, um, if that's what you're celebrating right now and a happy Passover if that's what you're celebrating right now. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.